I believe that Jyoti wanted to say a few words, and now is the time. I don't know if I'm capable of being as brave and strong as all our speakers so far, but I do feel that I'd like to try, so I hope you will forgive me. This is not, this is not my strong suit. Um, people here have talked about what Godfrey meant to them. This is quite a personal thing for me, really. But personal and political with Godfrey were always so intertwined and so in my life. Um, Godfrey meant something to me before I knew what politics were, but he was also there at the birth of all my political understanding. Um, he was practically there at my birth. <laughs> um, in fact, I believe Godfrey was with my father while I was being born. <laughs> um, they were at a meeting. They heard the happy news, had a glass of champagne and came to the hospital. <laughs> in that order, I believe. Um, Godfrey was taken from us so quickly. Um, we did have a chance to say some goodbyes, but not many. And, and not enough. And at Godfrey's funeral, there was a condolence book, and I kept looking at the book and thinking, what is it I want to say? What is it I want to say? And my mind was blank, because it's everything, and everything becomes nothing, and, and you don't know what you want to say. And Kat said to me, well, you don't have to do it today. You can write it on a piece of paper, and we'll stick it in later. I said, OK, that's a good idea. And I, using like everybody does these days, my little handheld, put myself a note, words for Godfrey. And every day when I look at my to-do list, I see this, words for Godfrey, and I think, yeah, I must think about that. What do I want to say? I don't know, well, there's work to be done, I'll get on with the work, and when the work's done, I'll come back to it. And Godfrey would appreciate that too, because whenever you ask Godfrey to write an article, <laughs> he always had 20 other things to do first, and it was always next on his list, and you, you really had to chase the guy to get him to sit down and write something, because he was so overburdened with so many urgent, practical tasks, that sitting down and finding time and space to think about something serious was not so easy to do. And um, I'm a great procrastinator in... Godfrey's mould when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, so I finally started writing this on the train coming over here today, and I finished it while Dad was speaking. <laughs> and so, if it's not so polished, you'll understand why. But these are the words I would say to Godfrey if he was still here. I would say thank you for being such a rock in my life, for showing that it is possible to be true to your principles in small as well as big ways, for offering such a shining example of a life well lived, for showing such warmth, generosity and loyalty in your relationships with friends, family and comrades, for demonstrating such selflessness and humility despite your obvious talents in so many spheres, <coughs> for being such a shining example of persistence and devotion to everything that is most important in this world. Thank you for magic trips, magic tricks and shoulder rides, for infant school pickups and trips to the zoo, for study classes, spare beds and safe havens, for eternal patience and good humour, for taking me so completely into your heart and your family. for giving me the best sister anyone could ever ask for. For coming to the hospital when our Joseph was born. For putting away the cot we couldn't bear to see. And for remembering our littlest comrade to the last. I haven't words to express what your presence has meant in my life. A visit to your house was always an adventure. Just the knowledge that you and Iris were in my world gave so much childhood reassurance. It was in your home and under your gentle guidance that I took my first steps into the movement, where I read Lenin and Stalin and learned to take a scientific view of the world. In your home, I attended political meetings 
and took part in my first practical activities. In your home, I learned that it was possible to overcome all barriers to political commitment. In your home, I learned that no detail is too small to pay attention to in the service of the working class. In your home, I felt loved and secure and free to develop. You and Iris had the knack of treating everyone as special and it made your home the most welcoming I have ever known. What else would I say? Only that I hope to do better in following your example. Only that I will not forget the promise I made to you in the hospital. We will finish what you and your comrades started. We will build the party that you worked so hard to bring into existence. We will turn it into a real fighting force for revolution. We will do everything we can to bring about the society that you longed for so ardently for your life. And finally, paraphrasing Bobby Stans, I would say that our last tribute to your inspiring example will be the laughter of our children's children's children. We miss you, Godfrey. We wish you hadn't left us so soon. But we are so glad we had you, and we are determined determined that you will live on in us. We are determined to make you proud, with love, with respect, and with the reddest of red salutes. I would say what you said to me when we talked about your prognosis. No regrets.